This is a nice entrance exam question asked by Oxford University. We have a square of side length one unit, and we have an irregular hexagon whose all sides are of equal length, and it is placed inside this square like this. Let us label the side of the hexagon as X. Our job is to find the value of X and select the correct option. So, can you solve it? Okay, since all the sides of this hexagon are of equal length, this is also equal to X, and this is also equal to X. Now let us label this side length as Y. So what will be the length of this square? It will be equal to X plus Y, right? But wait, this length is also equal to one unit, and hence we get X plus Y equals one. Or take X this side to get Y equals one minus X. Amazing! Now the length of this side of the hexagon is also equal to X, and this is equal to one. Therefore, the length of this piece will also be equal to 1 minus x. This is a square, right? So what will be this angle? Yes, you are right. It will be a right-angle triangle with both sides of this triangle equals 1 minus x and the hypotenuse as x. So we can use our favorite right triangle theorem to get 1 minus x, whole square, plus 1 minus x, whole square, equals x square. Now we are adding 1 minus x whole square twice, and thus this will become 2 times 1 minus x whole square. Next, we can use a minus b whole square formula, which gives us a square plus b square minus 2ab. Here, a is 1 and b is x, and thus 1 minus x whole square will be 1 square plus x square minus 2 times 1 times x, or 1 plus x square minus 2x. So after multiplying it by 2, we get 2 plus 2x square minus 2 times 2x, or minus 4x. Thus we have x square equals 2 plus 2x square minus 4x. Take this x square this side to get 2 plus 2x square minus 4x minus x square. This will become x square and minus 4x plus 2 equals 0. This is a quadratic equation. Now add 2 on both sides of this equation. We get x square minus 4x plus this will become 4, and on the right side we get 2. What can you tell about this equation? We can write it as x square minus 2 times. 2 times x plus 4 can be written as 2 square. Thus, it is of this a minus b whole square form, and therefore this thing will be equal to x minus 2 whole square, and that is equal to 2. Now take the square root on both sides to get x minus 2 equals plus minus square root of 2. Thus, x equals 2 plus the square root of 2, or 2 minus the square root of 2. So what will you do now? Will you mark both of these options as correct? No, because all of your hard work will be wasted if you do that, because if x equals 2 plus root 2, then 1 minus x, or this side, will be equal to 1 minus 2 minus root 2, or whatever it will be, it will be less than 0. But we cannot have a negative side length, right? Therefore, we have to discard this solution. And our final answer is x equals 2 minus root 2, and that's it. Correct option is option D. So good!